You may be surprised to learn that while the economy remains subdued, railroads are chugging full steam ahead. Transporting crude oil to clothing, railroads appear to be in the midst of a revival, the likes of which haven't been seen since the industry's heyday in the 19th century. U.S. freight demand is projected to grow 50 percent to $27.5 billion by 2040. This year will mark the third in a row. Railroads have spent a record amount investing in their businesses. Meanwhile, earnings are on track to jump 18 percent this year, according to Thomson Reuters. But the stocks have tacked on double-digit gains so far this year. So is it time to hop aboard railroad stocks, or have you missed the train? Joining me now is Eric Marshall, president of Hodges Capital Management and co-manager of the Hodges Small Cap Fund. Eric, welcome to the program. It's great to be here. So put this emergence of activity in railroads in perspective for us. How much of a boom is this in the context of the industry, the recovery? Are we really in the midst of a revival here? Well, really, uh, railroads have really been going through a renaissance now for the past decade. And it's really been driven by a couple of factors. One, um, railroads have really become the low cost provider of transportation services. And this is due in part to new technology that the industry has undertaken to become more automated and more efficient. In addition to that, you've also seen the railroads benefit from more international trade with intermodal becoming a significant part of their business. And they benefit from both imports and exports to the U.S. And then, and then the other issue has been railroads do well in an environment where you have high oil prices because they become more competitive with trucking. And also the trucking industry, as you have probably read, has really been going through some issues the last few years with having driver shortages. So the uh, railroads really help address that issue for those trying to you know, ship different types of industrial goods and so forth. Eric, talk to me about your outlook for profits. I did quote uh, Thomson Reuters, which is expecting an 18% jump this year. But how sustainable is uh, double-digit profits, more over the medium term? For instance, I have in my notes here that freight rates are half of what they were 30 years ago. But with demand for rail increasing, I'm wondering, will that uh, cause freight rates to increase and help sustain profits into the medium term? Well, the, the railroads definitely have pricing power right now. That's one important thing that we look for at the Hodges Funds is we look for companies that have good pricing power and high, high barriers to entry. And the railroads are really in a position right now to raise prices after going through decades where they really were not able to raise prices. We think that the railroad, railroad earnings will hold up because you are seeing good pricing power, and you're also seeing incremental demand from the oil and gas industry and what's going on there has also provided demand, as well as automotive uh, picking up. So Manufacturing then, in Mexico has really become a, an opportunity. You're starting to see more autos moved by rail as well. Right. So then, Eric, what does this mean for uh, the P and PE, if you will? How are valuations now on railroad stocks? It seems like the space has really run up. Are there uh, any opportunities now? Yeah, the, the, uh, the P multiples have expanded a little bit. For the, the four class one railroads, with the exception of uh, Kansas City Southern, uh, P multiples are still in check. Um, you know, the, the, right now, most of the, the group is trading around 15, 16 times earnings, a little bit below the, uh, um, you know, their historical averages. But I think the railroads have become, in some ways, less cyclical than they've been in the past because of their cost advantage, new technologies, as well as some secular growth opportunities for, from things like the, uh, the oil and gas industry, in addition to just the normal uh, cyclical activity that you, you, you see in, uh, in rail stocks. All right, Eric, thanks so much for coming on the program. I so appreciate it. Yeah, glad to do it. Eric Marshall, president of Hodges Capital Management and co-manager of the Hodges Small Cap Fund.